Alrighty, hi everyone, this is Aonic, and in this video I'm going to be showing how to charm, or not, well, swarm kite, AoE dot swarm kite, in the Dreadlands. So the Dreadlands, I think you can go there for, yeah, about the late 30s to 40s. So, um, one of the spots I want to show, actually, most people typically pull their swarm to right around here where it's a safe spot where there's no uh, ads but if that t spot is taken I actually used to go a, a kite around these these little pillars here it's okay enough you have to be kind of careful because you could possibly get some ads from down here because you have to go a little wide sometimes but yeah I typically did pretty good around this pillar right here and that is Right, uh, right here, on the eastern face of Carter's Castle. Anyways, let's do a mini pull and show how it's done. So again, don't be a jerk, call it out what you're doing. It really ticks people off. <laughs> Otherwise, so I start out uh, right around here, and I'm gonna start pulling mobs and slowly make my way back up to Burning Woods. Be careful of the spiders, they will root you and mess you up. So the cockatrices are fine. The Drolvargs are fine. The Ravishing Drolvargs have a lot more health. They have a heck of a lot. A lot more health. So I'd be cautious of them. Some of the mobs here do see through Invis, so it's kind of... Kind of sucks. You know what? I'll pull a Ravishing... A couple of Ravishing just so there's like a... Let's see just how long... See a real long swarm pull instead of one of these short ones I've showed in the videos. And what's cool is these guys actually social aggro. So the uh, Drolvargs and the Cockatrices will social aggro, not like wasn't shown there, if you are within their level range. I think Sarkis, yeah, I think they have. They have made all the videos. So the next spot, you want to run up a little bit more on the north wall, and there is a bunch of skeletons here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you can run through this, pull some of the skeletons. And then, yeah, here they are, greater plague bones. Pull them. <laughs> Make sure you're being close enough. That's a lot of spiders. Again, be very careful. Some of them see invis, they will root you, they will kill you. You get aggro by a spider, just give it up, run. Just zone it out. Oof, got close. So now I'm pulling it along that north wall, going towards the west. And you'll want to be pulling all these mobs down here in this crevice as well. Don't get the brutes. They have too large of a hitboxes. Too large of a hitbox. Same with the giants. That's like interesting. Wow. There's a lot of aggression. Um, I don't want to pull any of their mobs, so I'm going to stay a little off. Ah, look at this. So I actually have the, the, the you know, the manners to actually call out what I'm doing instead of just randomly doing it out of nowhere and just saying, I'm doing it now, accept it or not, and then they get all, uh, 
you know, angry. Well, whatever. <laughs> At least I have some manners and I'll call it out. Instead of just pulling these mobs out. Reckless abandon, they have no idea. But anyways, yeah, you can pull all along this northern face of Tarner's Castle. There's plenty of them. There's plenty of draw works all around Tarner's Castle if you want to make this even bigger. There's no reason why you couldn't be able to get this up to like a 40, 50 mob pool. <laughs> and this is the way to Burning Woods. We're probably going to die doing this a couple times, so again, I'd really strongly recommend that you, uh, have a you get bound in FV Ronia by all righty unsuccessful bards <laughs> I gotta show them how it's done right Uh, be careful, there is this one roaming spider that does come through near the entrance. But, alright. So, we gotta round them up. Make sure they're all kinda right on top of each other. It's crazy, you can use sound, it can help you out tremendously. Kinda get an idea how close they are, about how loud your sound is coming out. You know, it's not that dark. One thing I do want to say, though, is if you're a bard, you really do need a group. You do need how to, how to play in a group, because there's a lot of bards who AoE swarm the whole way up. And then they get in their 50s or whatever, and they have no idea what they're doing. And it just makes look makes you look so bad. Please do yourself a favor and group occasionally all throughout the levels. I mean, I know this is so much faster, but, you know, part of what gives Bards a bad name is there's just a bunch of jerks on the server. Don't call out when they do the swarms that aren't respectable of people who have their camps and their areas where they have camps and they're going from. And it's just a lot of disrespect. It also doesn't help, but you know, there's a bit of toxicity too, and some people just calling it out, and you're just being polite, and they still get mad about it, okay? Well, sorry you feel that way. Alright, they seem adequately bunched up. So I'm gonna get the Xelos off, strafe, sneak. Again, that strafe technique is you want to hold your right click in, forward and left arrow, and enter. Get them close. So we gotta slowly work our way in and get them closer. I want to see them in this corner of the screen. And I've got a good ping, 94 milliseconds. That's good enough. Should be getting. There we go. I got them all. Turn in those last two little bars. And turn in. There we go. Got them all. These guys, you have to be a little careful when it comes to chords of dissonance. Because they might smack you. And again, these guys will bash you and stun you. And you are dead. Doing it perfect. And just cycle through all three of your dots. get too close, I'm going to jump to get out of the way. If my ping was worse, I would actually not even try to land Chords of Dissonance, because that can get you killed. I 
Also, um, one thing I would mention is, you know, you can Charm Kite too. You don't have to Swarm Kite here. Once you get that uh, Goblin Kasuki ring, you could just pull a whole bunch of mobs and charm one and have all the rest of them beat down. It would be safer than doing this. You're not stuck having to AoE Swarm Kite. That guy was getting a bit close. I want to jump. There we go. So we're going to be coming up on some corpses now. And one of the things you want to do is just keep your clicked in. Keep your cursor clicked in. Like right now. I won't loot. Just keep it clicked in as you go through. Or you can make a macro, hide corpse all, whatever you want to do. Either way work. Getting kind of close, so I want to be careful. Shouldn't see them that much on my screen. Yeah. If you're landing towards the distance reliably, you might want to be careful. Because you'll get into a false sense of security. One bad turn and you're done for. These ravishing droll marks have such a ridiculous amount of health, but they're actually great pets. You could play. I remember charming them and using them to fight the other mobs here, the chickens and stuff. And it took so long for them to die. It took they could take down five mobs for their health pool. Oh, he's running. And now we get the full damage of the dots. Yeah, 74 damage on Quartz of Cessation with the 24 mob. But 2.4 mob at this level. It's just crazy. Quartz of Cessation is going to be your biggest damage dealer. Big reason why I'm not swarming yet in Dragon Necropolis is because Quartz of Cessation doesn't stack with the AoE snare. Pick up canines? Um, one thing to keep in mind too, uh, if you don't want your loot to rot, what you'll want to do is most corpses have a timer of about seven minutes, so I would keep an eye out, like keep a have a watch on you, and look for when you're about to hit five minutes into the pool, and just stop and just go loot and then resume. is pretty much all for this video. There's one other spot too I'll mention before I go that there's another safe spot but the problem is it's so far away. It's such a long pull. You can pull this hidden valley and within there it's completely safe. You won't have to deal with any ads. But it's so far away it takes forever to get there. <clears throat> oh. Alrighty. Thank you guys all for watching. I will see you in the next video.